Hi everybody, well today I'm going to be digging up my carrots and uh, I gotta get them out now or I'm gonna lose them for one big reason, the snow is coming in and the uh, ground's gonna freeze so I got my 8 end tractor out and I got the uh, uh, Ferguson tube on the plow mounted and hopefully that will get them out real easy last year I used a uh, David Brown walking on tractor. I don't feel like doing that this year. So let's see if this works. So come along. Alright, here we go. So this is what I got so far. Uh, bucket of carrots there. <coughs> Hi everybody. I'm finishing up with the carrots now. I did the uh, the plow, plowing them up. Now I got the uh, Ferguson cultivator on. There's the name right there on the 8 end tractor again. This is the carrots that I've gotten out so far. I got two bucket loads. Not bad. So I'm just going to finish it up, see if I can dig up some more carrots with this this hole here. So let's get going here. <clears throat> All right. So the idea is to dig it up with the cultivator. Let's go.
Okay. Let's see if we can just pick up a little more. I'm all done, pulled out, but I just wanted to do it this way yet. Not easy to do it one hand, but let's see what we can find. And see, they've got some carrots coming up. Yeah. So this is an experiment. I'd like to have some suggestions from people out there who grow carrots. Is there an easier way to harvest carrots on a small farm? I know there's the carrot harvesting machines out there. And uh, it's a small farm I have here, but there's just too, way too many carrots pick the dig by hand so you know what I mean so I, I'm trying to find uh, different ways to harvest my carrots without tearing them apart you uh, know it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's tough and uh, it's tomorrow is going to be December 1st and the ground is freezing I'm taking them out now I gotta get them out or I'll lose the carrots so this is my way of doing it again And unfortunately, it does break some of the carrots. <clears throat> so, this is how I'm doing it with the Ford 8N. Then I come in here with a hand cultivator and just scary through it. Yeah, yesterday, I was using the, the Ferguson tube on plow that worked pretty good, but it's still not good enough. I need another idea, everybody, how to get these carrots out. Well, this is works. But, uh, looking for other ideas, everybody. But this is my idea, anyway. And it is working. And uh, I harvest two five-gallon pails of carrots. Nice-looking carrots. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I've got them out now before the ground freezes solid. <clears throat> so, they're out. And it's done. But I'm looking for other ways, new, different ways that I can harvest my carrots. Without buying costs, very costly machines. Isn't that a nice one right there? And this is what I got. This is how I'm doing it. It works. But I know there's better ways. So all you small time farmers out there that grow carrots. I like to know your ideas out there. And let's see what See if I can adopt your idea, because uh, you've probably been farming longer than I have. But this is my way of doing it. Look at the the, uh, the ground's actually freezing onto the carrots already. It's so cold out. I'm so glad I'm getting it out of here. I would lose them all. For the most part, I've got them all out of the ground now. And uh, uh, you probably wonder why I left them in the ground this long before it freezes. Well, for one big reason. Hello? 
long as you keep them in the ground when it gets colder, the sweeter they taste and the better they are. So that's how I did it. Worked good last year, and worked good this year. Okay, everybody. Wow. I had a good carrot harvest here this year. And I'm done. Got it all done farming for this year. So I'll pack it all up and I'll do a maintenance on the old equipment for over the winter and get everything ready. I hope you liked this video today. It was a two part video on yesterday in the blizzard like conditions, and today it's very cold out. But here it is. Once again, I used the 8 inch tractor because it's handy. I had the 9 inch sitting under in the Ford New Holland, but things are hooked up to it. Yeah, I just grabbed this. It does good. All right, buddy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stop by again. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. It really helps. I want to get this channel going really good. And I have a lot of plans for you to enjoy. Stop by again. Hit that like button. And uh, stop by for more videos on the Blueberry Farm. Bye, everybody.